Welcome to video one on SSL strip. In this video, I will be explaining what SSL strip is, how it works, and some methods to defend against it. SSL strip is an HTTPS stripping man in the middle attack that can compromise any information sent between a user and a supposedly secure web page using HTTPS, such as the username and password. SSL strip works first by launching an ARP table poisoning attack to trick the victim into thinking that the attacker's MAC address is the MAC address of the default gateway. The victim will then send all traffic bound for the internet through the attacker's machine. The attacker's machine will then forward this data along except for traffic destined to port 80, which it redirects to SSL strip running on the attacker's machine. SSL strip then watches all HTTP traffic from the victim. It will then keep a map of these connections and force the use of HTTP between the victim and the attacker while using HTTPS between the attacker and the web server. This will cause the victim to send login credentials unencrypted over HTTP to the attacker. The attacker will then forward these intended HTTPS connections to the web server using HTTPS so the connection looks secure to the web server. Now let's quickly install SSL strip on Backtrack 4 and see how it works. Now once SSL strip and all its components have been set up on the attacker's machine, all it takes is for the victim to log into a website with their username and password for the attacker to get that information. Here we will show the victim logging into Facebook and Gmail with their username and password. Now once the victim has done so, the attacker will now have the username and password information right on his screen. Now there are a few methods we can use to defend against SSL strip and this type of man-in-the-middle attack. For networks that use higher-end Cisco switches, we can enable what is called DHCP snooping and dynamic ARP inspection. DHCP snooping keeps track of all the IP address to MAC address bindings on the network given out from the DHCP server on the network. Dynamic ARP inspection on the switch will continuously check all the ARP messages coming into the switch against this table and if there is not a match the switch will drop the ARP message. Now doing this may not be present or even an option on all networks especially the home network or a network out in public such as a coffee shop or in school. So a user can protect himself with another couple of different methods. The first is using static ARP entries. You would do so from the command line using the ARP-S command and typing in the IP address of the default gateway along with its MAC address. Now this could be a pain having to do this every time you connect to a new network, especially you had to do it several times a day. So one alternative is to install a piece of software on your computer that will automatically do this for you. A lot of third-party firewalls, such as Komodo Firewall here, has this feature built in. All you have to do is go into the options and enable ARP protection, and it will protect your ARP cache against the ARP spoof, ARP poisoning, and other methods of ARP poisoning attacks. Now there are a few more methods that can be used to stop SSL strip in this type of man-in-the-middle attack. Intrusion detection and intrusion prevention systems can be deployed on the network. The user can use virtual private network services to encrypt all traffic, and the user can use browser add-ons to detect and alert to the presence of HTTPS. Now these are beyond the scope of this video and will be explained in future videos. Thanks for watching video one on SSL strip. Check out video two for an in-depth tutorial on how to set up and do this attack yourself using Backtrack 4.